Well, they said it would never happen, but Brisbane Truck Show 2021 is happening right now. It's an incredibly positive event, and it's one of the best events in modern, in, in our, certainly in the last couple of years, for the simple reason that after a year or more of absolute gloom in the industry, a few manufacturers and suppliers have come together and put together an incredibly positive and professional show. And there are none more professional and positive than the Daimler Group at the moment. Now that includes the new Cascadia, the 116 and the 126, an entirely impressive range of new Benzes, which are selling really well on the market at the moment. And the really exciting news for Daimler is just how well Fuso is going at the moment. They just launched the E-Canter, a fully electric production truck. But as well as that, they've got good things coming as well. They've just launched a 360 version of their Shogun. And in the not too distant future, there's a 13 litre 500 plus model. And if you want to see the um, first information about that, just read the latest ATN or owner driver. While we're still on the Daimler stand, I'll let you know a little secret. Daimler has never ever had a better product range than what it has at the moment. On Cascadia alone, it is the safest conventional truck on the Australian market by far. But it's not just that that's pushing the brand and the whole group for that matter to a higher level of awareness within the trucking community. It's the technology that they're now implementing. This is a very, very progressive company today. In all their trucks here, the Benz particularly and the Cascadia, they're using a digital dash. Now a lot of people, a lot of the purists might miss the old gauges and that, so do I at times. But I tell you, you get used to one of these digital dashes and it's really as good as just like having your smart TV at home. It is a very, very technologically advanced but simple piece of gear. But Daimler, Cascadia, Benz and Fuso, that's only one part of the big story. What we need to do now is go over just across the hall and have a look at the market leader, Packer, being Kenworth and Daff, because they too have some really, really exciting products to look at. I've seen some good trucks at truck shows over the years and some great presentations. I've never seen anything better than what Packer has put together for this truck show. It's an all Australian theme, and the best thing about it is they've combined Daff and Kenworth as a corporate presentation. It's no longer DAF this side, can work that side. It's all part of the same package. There's no more segregation anymore. And I've got to tell you, this is the top of the tree. This is the 909. And we'll go and look at some others at the moment. But this truck is an absolute cracker. It is just so beautifully presented. But the murals on all the trucks are just first rate. It is truly, truly one of the best presentations I've ever seen at any truck show anywhere and I've seen a few. This, of course, is a DAF, but like I said, it's the all Aussie theme. DAF is now as much a part of Packer as Kenworth is, and that's growing. This is the CF model, and what makes the CF model really unique is it's the first DAF assembled in Australia at their plant in Bayswater in Victoria. A really nice bit of gear, this thing, and it's now available for 11 litre, really lively 11 litre engine, as well as the 13 litre. Right behind me is the T410 SAR. It's the latest truck from Kenworth. I've driven it. It's a really nice thing to drive. It's got an MX-13 engine at 510 horsepower, I think. And I think it'll be the truck that really does a lot of things for Kenworth in that 410 range. But there's another SAR here, and it will really get your attention. Well, check the crowd around this thing like bees to honey. This is a legend SAR. This is supposed to have been a secret. They're a little bit angry with me at the moment because I broke a lot of information about this thing before it's launched. But it doesn't seem to have matter. All it seems to have done is attracted people to it. And trust me, the amount of interest in this thing has just been extraordinary. And we're only in the first couple of hours of the show. Imagine what it's gonna be like on the weekend. Here with Lex Forsyth, is the general manager of Janus Electric. Yeah. And behind us is a truck that is getting a lot of attention. Lex, tell us about Janus Electric. So what we've done is we've taken a T403 Kenworth, it's 2012, it's ex-Craig Arthur's, had, oh, okay. a, it had an EGR Cummins in it. Yep. 
Yep. We've removed the EGR Cummins and put in a Dana TM4 electric motor. And what we've done is put in our a removable and interchangeable battery solution. So what we've done is taken away the range anxiety of having fixed batteries yep. on, on trucks because we can change the battery out in three minutes and we've got a range there between four to 600 kilometers, depending on what you're towing. If you've got a single on, you're five to 600 k's based on weight and what you're towing, and with a B-double, four to 500 kilometers. Wow. I'm hearing a rumor too that you've ordered a T610. Yes, we a, have. As a glider kit. We have, yeah. yeah. So we've got the first glider being built in Australia in 18 years, coming off the line in yeah. uh, Bayswater in uh, October the 11th, we pick it up. Yeah. yeah. So the batteries just slide in and out by uh, forklift? Yeah, so a forklift essentially just picks the battery up, pulls the battery out, and there's a uh, inner chassis rail inside the chassis rails, and it's yeah. a, with tapered and rollers, and it just slides back in. And then there's a set of pullers in there which um, grab hold of it and pull it back into the into the mating box, into our Genesis box, yeah. and then it energizes the truck, and the truck drives away. So it's still a automated ultra shift gearbox. Yes. Meritor diffs. Meritor diffs. It, it, what, whatever you've got from the back of your back of your motor back, we can use. So if you've got a Eaton Eaton Ultra Shift, you've got an M drive, yeah. an I drive, we can we can uh, we can adapt it straight into the electric motor. Cool. No prizes for guessing what this is. This is a Western Star. It's a big banger. It's a Western Star 4900. It's got a massive big Stratosphere sleeper on it. It's 140 ton rated. It is a true big banger. But what really impresses me the most is that Western Star is here. Not only Western Star, but MAN. They've come to the Brisbane show. They are Brisbane-based products. Western Star was launched here in Brisbane about 40 years ago. It makes you wonder why other Brisbane-based brands aren't here. You know, I don't need to explain who they are, but seriously, what a great show to be at. What a great support for their market, Brisbane-based. This is the biggest man of them all. This is a 640 horsepower flagship of the MAN range. But this morning, the executives here said something very important. They said that despite the fact that MAN hasn't really done that well in Australia, they are committed to staying here. And that's a wonderful thing for them to state. You know, up on the Kenworth stand, there's a whole heap of people around a truck called a Legend SAR, which is a, I don't know, it's a nostalgia truck. It's been built by Packard to really create something about the history of Kenworth. But if you want history, this is an original SAR. This is what all the fuss is about up there and what this truck created a long, long time ago. That's a 1986 model and it looks absolutely stunning. And it, uh, I'd love to go and drive it actually because I had some great drives in SARs when I was a up and coming truck rider, whatever you call it. Yeah, beautiful bit of restoration work on this one. An International 3070. Boy, they were the glory days for International Harvester. Ultimately, International Harvester became Iveco, which is probably timely that we're at this truck because we're going straight down to Iveco now. Marco Coranti is still the chief engineer at Iveco. Australia. Product, product manager. Product, product manager. manager, yes. So I look after the entire product uh, from the small daily all the way to the heavy duty off road and bus. Yes. All right. Now tell me about what you've got on display here. You've got the Echo, you've got the new Highway Series. Yep. So we got the Echo. Echo is growing strong, still an icon in the Australian industry. Uh, it's a Cursor 9 uh, FPT engine with an Allison transmission, and it's 6x4 or 8x4, depending on the application. Then we have the highway range, so we have a B-double here, Cursor 13, 550 horsepower. We also offer That's in the, the same time range. the B-double rating on a... Oh, we had in the past. This is the first time we have a Euro 6 B-double oh, rating, okay. yes. Yep. So that's a development we are doing. We are actually testing the, the vehicle and we are preparing for the future with the next generation, yeah. which you probably have seen is the S-Way. You and know? the truck that's holding me up at the moment is the Euro This Cargo. is the Euro Cargo. It's been in the industry for years. So it's offering 12, 14, 16, and very soon also a three-axle. Oh, okay. And recently, it's also made its debut in the waste industry with a side loader dual control. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, yeah. So we have a few in the operation and now it's growing the interest in the industry, you know. Waste is an industry we are very strong. And the, the new daily, daily? The new daily, Euro yeah. 6, with uh, more horsepower than before. So 140, 180 and 210. High Matic automatic transmission, 8 speed, uh, vans, cab chassis. What you see here is a bit of a new uh, trade made uh, tray and uh, it's a short wheelbase, so it's a very maneuverable truck. I've got to ask you, everything's Euro 6 now? Correct, yes. But the big question is, are you happy that Iveco came here to the Brisbane show? 
Yes, I am, of course. The Brisbane yeah. Truck Show is it was enough more. ball whether Iveco would be here or not, wasn't it? Uh, I would say it was never really in doubt because we know that the Brisbane Truck Show is a very important appointment in the industry. Yeah. Being there is uh, exposure, is meeting people, is meeting yeah. customers and is showing the support to the local industry. You know, we are a local manufacturer. Yeah. Therefore, we believe that being here is supporting the entire Australian industry.